picked him up for all. Let me let me just back up. I said there's a premise. The premise is every Christian has a ministry from the Lord. Mm-hmm. Every listen to this now. Every ministry is full time. Yes. Because to be a minister doesn't mean that you have to stand behind a pulpit or be inside a church building. Mm-hmm. It is about being bringing the knowledge of the presence of Christ Jesus into every place. That's a full-time job. You don't turn that off. You are always there as the presence of God. You are the presence of God. You bring the presence of God because you're the temple of the Holy Spirit. You are there to be available, to be used by God, to minister as he desires, all right? Some ministries involve more, more visibility, all right? More church visibility. Right. But all ministries are equally visible to the Lord. Right. You've got to understand that. Education. Well, sometimes the education, I was going to say, sometimes the education can do you more harm than good. But I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say that. Oh, wait a minute, I just did. You've got to be really prayerful about this, all right? Because, you know, th- there's a verse in the Bible that says, knowledge puffs up, mm-hmm. but love edifies, love builds up. A lot of times, I mean, I see people, what their, what their seminary has done for them is to puff them up and make them self-important. Isn't that what happened with the Pharisees? Yes. The yes. scribes, the lawyers, all right? There's nothing wrong with getting a diploma. Sheepskin. A sheepskin. Well, you know, the word diploma comes from the Greek word diploma, (laughs) which means it's Greek for folded paper, all right? And it's a certificate that's issued by an educational institution. That and the the sheepskin, the diploma testifies that the person who's being name there has successfully completed a particular course of study this is recognizes any awards any academic degrees right diplomas are often called sheepskins they used to be called sheepskins all the time i mean our language is changing because originally they were made from sheepskin Sheepskin. Hmm. paper was difficult to create and extremely delicate back in those olden days right? right The entire diploma was written by hand due to the lack of printing presses. Mm -hmm. So later, parchment was used for the diploma at the turn of the 20th century. The diploma usually became bound in leather, right? Mm -hmm. Certain schools, it's not used a lot anymore, but certain schools today, universities, still use sheepskins, Mm -hmm. right? A school can confer a a diploma on students who have successfully completed a course of study designated or designed to prepare them for ministry. But the sheepskin should not be the goal. Right. Should not be the goal. We are, think of sheepskin, we are the sheep. <laughs> yes, we are. Okay. So we, thy people, are the sheep of thy pasture. We'll give thanks to thee forever. To all generations we will tell of thy praise. Psalm 79, 13. We are the sheep, all right? Mm-hmm. God does not look. If you think about this in relationship to ministry, God does not look to see if you have the sheepskin. Yeah. He doesn't look to see if you have a diploma on the wall that declares that you know stuff. Right. He searches your heart to see if you know him. That's what qualifies you to be used by God to minister. All right, so... One of the things now about don't be quick to lay hands on, people have to grow. I mean, mm-hmm. but maturity is not about time. Or age. It's, a, it's more about commitment than it is about a, a passage of time, mm-hmm. right? I mean, I've seen Christians who have been saved for a month who are more committed to the Lord than some of the people I see who have been serving the Lord or have been saved for 25 years, right? And one of the things that's troubled me over the years is I see new converts who are famous, Mm-hmm. whether they're athletes or singers or movie stars or something, they so often get abused by ministries or churches who are trying to cash in on their fame. Okay? That's one of the things. That I, I mean, that that's happened so often. In the years that I've been ministering, I've seen that over and over and over, where people have literally been, you know, gotten saved, and then they've come in and they've, they've literally been abused 
and they wind up walking away. I mean, that's that's bad. All right. Because right. they they don't have the knowledge yet of what. No. Is so I mean, so they, anything they say, people are hanging on to every word and believing everything yeah. they say. But somebody gets saved; they're a new convert. They've been yeah. saved a week, and all they of a sudden, they're going to stand in front of twenty thousand people in the mega church and start talking for hours and teaching. Well. Shame on that church. Shame on that church. Shame, 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 shame. The qualifications to serve and share his love is first, your name must be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And then, of course, you have to have that BA, born again, MA, made anew, and DD, divinely designed. And above all, you must be ready to give all for the Lord. The only degree that really matters is the degree of your commitment. <laughs>